our legacy infrastructure is becoming increasingly expensive to maintain. Moreover, it's not flexible nor scalable. This and sounds interesting. Hello, Adam. We were just about to discuss how to eliminate the last legacy system in our company. I have some information that might be useful. Would you excuse me for just one moment? Of course, we'll wait for you. IT optimization. Is everything okay, Adam? This is an area we've not spent quality time collaborating on. Can we go over it now in detail, please? Of course. But instead of explaining it, it would be better if I showed it to you. Please put on your virtual reality glasses. Yes. Entity, where have you brought me to? I have brought you to a metaphor. Nowadays, all the information is virtualized in different clouds that users can access from anywhere. So where's the legacy now? The data is stored in huge data cities, which are strategically placed around the world where power and communication bandwidth is plentiful and secure. I want to visit one. Welcome to the heart of a data city. Miles and miles of streets, avenues and squares where all human knowledge lives. All the supply is orchestrated harmoniously in an autonomous and coordinated way. Here, all the demand is activated and deactivated in real time. Everything is alive here. Everything flows and it is all connected. This passageway seems never ending. Back in 2018, data centers were responsible for roughly 3% of the world's electricity consumption. Today, their consumption has increased to 20%. Creating epicenter hubs was the only viable way to manage all this information. Okay. IT optimization, got it. Let's get back to that meeting. Hello again. All good? All good. Let's talk about modernizing our legacy. Good. When we talk about the digital transformation, then the cloud transformation is one of the most obvious and most relevant ones, especially at the beginning of the journey. And the cloud transformation, it increases the scalability, the flexibility, and also the efficiency of the IT operation significantly. So now we have to move from this idea of this perimeter that we can guard over to this idea that we need to take a data-centric approach. If you take an organization as you have it today and you connect it to this infrastructure, nothing much will change because the organization is not capable of leveraging the capabilities that is given to it. Our legacy infrastructure is becoming increasingly expensive to maintain. Moreover, it's not flexible nor scalable. One of the problems that clients have as they deploy applications and resources to different cloud environments is being able to provide governance and understanding uh, sprawl and, and spend and tying that back to a business outcome. And so we help uh, provide uh, that governance layer across all multi-cloud environments. This orchestration layer can take out the complexity from the application development so that in my vision, a developer who is working on an autonomous vehicle can actually focus on developing features and is not slowed down by ensuring high availability or by establishing cloud interconnections. Uh, we can take advantage of 
uh, technology uh, to do that. Uh, products and solutions that are in, in the cloud, we can take advantage of different ways to develop software that are lean and agile. Uh, and that's really changed how uh, businesses see IT. The data center of the future will consist of multiple data centers all in one area, building out and becoming, in fact, a city of data centers. In the future, and the future has already started, the digital transformation will provide further opportunities for IT optimization. For example, artificial intelligence or robotics will significantly improve the efficiency of the different IT services like support desk services, and they will also help to improve the quality of our services for example, by completely reducing the risk of any failures in the data center area. Let's talk about modernizing our legacy.